A pleasure to welcome all at Sunday to this edition of the uh, Evening Political Rumbles here in News Inquest TV. Uh, we have a special guest here with us uh, to discuss and deliberate on the uh, political happenings across social, political, and cultural events as they unfold within uh, the Nigerian space and across the world. Here with me this moment is uh, uh, Honorable Felix, can you say good morning? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I want to bring the viewers and I want to say this month will be a better month for us. Amen to that uh, uh, prayer. Yes, sir, in our discussion this morning, firstly, has to do with the the uh, public statement by the secretary to the uh, uh, Catholic Priests Association saying that uh, we have become endangered species. Following the uh, unabating killing targeted against the Christians, of course, of recent uh, the Catholic Church, over three Catholic Church were uh, uh, attacked and uh, leaving several scores of uh, worshippers uh, dead. What is your position or take to this? Well, um, in fact, it's a, it's a sad, it's a sad occurrence that Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sister, are killed and slaughtered like animals. People who are called to serve humanity, to bring the real character of God in their in people's life and show people the light. It's quite unfortunate that we see them that have been slaughtered by these call by these so people called the Boko Haram, the Iswa, the Islamic um, this thing. It's quite unfortunate. You see them they have been slaughtered in Benue, they have been slaughtered in Nemo State, they have been slaughtered in every part of Nigeria except that of Lagos. It's quite unfortunate. These are people that bring peace, that show people love, but our government have refused to do the needful. They have refused to call these people terrorists. They have refused to tell the people that these people are terrorist organizations. And this is actually what is affecting, affecting the people. How long will our people, our priests be killed? They are taking them as... Uh, a scapegoat and they are killing them. Not just the priests, of course, uh, scores of uh, innocent worshippers have been rounded up and killed ever since uh, the, of course, uh, the, uh, this the government advent government. of uh, Boko Haram and uh, it has been intensified uh, in the most uh, recent times. So my take, my take about that is that a lot of, a lot of prisoners have been killed. But the government in power, the government in power knows who these people are. The government in power are the people that should do something. They are the people that can that can really fight this cause. They are the people because I am quite not, I'm not really satisfied with this level of this government. They are not fighting. The real issue. Something is stopping someone on the air. But they, if, are, they, if, are, they are going to um, veto. So if truly really they knew who those uh, perpetrators were and uh, have refused to bring them to books or do uh, take proactive steps to to stop them, could they be, of course, uh, absolved of being complicit? Well, in 20, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take, I'm going to go back one. In 2014, Erufai said, he made some statements that told that if this government did not hand over power, we will, we will run over this government. I remember another person said, I can't even remember, he said, we are going to use the blood of the baboon. In an ideal situation. Yeah, Buhari said it in 2011. 2011. In an ideal situation, where did these people get, how did they get into Nigeria? Who are the people checking them? What are the works of the immigration? And if these are answered, this will solve the problem. 
We it's just that our 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 government is compliant. They don't care. Look at the case of Ekore Madu. Ekore Madu have to sue the NIS, sue the immigration, sue all of them, and they brought out the picture. In this case, in this case, I still stand to be corrected. The government of the day knows who these people is. The late Sonia Bacha said, if terrorists goes on in the country within 24 hours and the government cannot handle it, the government knows about it. The government knows. What exactly is the is the motive behind these uh, killings or targeted killings, so to say? The motive behind this uh, killing and targeted is that they want to Islamize Nigeria. They want to turn it to a full and east country. Okay, it's part of Islamization agenda. Agenda, plan. yes. And, and as a Nigeria that, being a secular state, how do you think that? And as a result of that, that's the reason why you can see they are killing the Reverend Fathers, they are killing the Christians, and they are trying everything possible to to I mean, to, take up, to take over a state, to 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 rule over a particular um, area, and that's the reason. That's what they are doing. When they are able to empower, um, they are able to overthrow or take over that party, they will now bring their rules and regulations. But Nigeria is a circular state where we know... But not in practice. But not in practice yet. But we are getting there that we are going to... In the northern part of Nigeria, their brain is brainwashed. But that if they kill, they are going straight to heaven. But in the, in the southern part of Nigeria, it's not like that. But I know we are getting there that... You know, Jonathan was building a major school. This so-called government I was, I was talking about went against it. The level of education, the level of enlightenment, they didn't want them to get it. Okay, thank you. Moving away from that, uh, it has been reported, uh, of course, uh, there are uh, thousands of armored cars moved down to the southeastern region, precisely Anambra, uh, Imo State and Ebony State, had been mil heavily militarized and uh, people are being harassed, innocent, perhaps innocent citizens are being harassed. Some, of course, uh, houses belonging to innocent citizens have been brought down, blown up by the Nigerian military, which uh, um, the governor of Anambra said uh, promised to rebuild and uh, reconstruct most of those uh, buildings affected. So what are we really up to in this country? The governors of the state does not have power to control the military. But they are the first citizens of the state, the and they, they are, activities of the military could not be permitted without their consent. This is what happened in Lagos State. I'll call your attention. The case in Magodo that they brought in military. The government went there. They did not obey the government. The, government. the person in charge of the commander in chief of the armed forces is the president. The president is the one that gives order, that gives whatever um, instruction he gives, they follow. So the only thing the governors can do is to see how to maintain peace with the people. What they are doing, I know I already told you that this is where the problem is. They will leave where the problem is, they will go and be addressing the two. I don't say anything that they should not go to the east. We know where the problem is, it's in the north. That's my take about that. Is there any justification for militarizing, pulling down structures belonging to innocent citizens by the so-called uh, uh, government institutions, the military and joint uh, task force? Well, um, it is not justified. It is actually wrong. It is actually wrong. And that is that they are turning the state to a military, a military uh, government. And that will not help Nigerian uh, politics. That will even kill Nigerian politics. That's my take about that. Uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, most of these things are underreported and uh, we don't know the reason why. Uh, such invasion is allowed within the civilian uh, settlement and the people are apprehensive. Lives have been lost, innocent lives. People are intimidated, afraid uh, 
of, of course, uh, carrying out the daily transactions or uh, economic activities within the South Eastern region. Would they have any link with the uh, uh, most uh, recent agitation for the restoration of Biafra State? No, 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 no,